And Miriam and Aaron spake against Moses because of the Ethiopian woman whom he had married. For he had married the Ethiopian woman. He said, Have the Lord in taken only by Moses. So did Moses marry an Ethiopian woman? Moses only had one wife. You're not going to find no other wife's name in here. His wife's name was Sephora. All right, he had two children. Was the woman an Ethiopian woman? Read on. Hath not spoken also by us, and the Lord heard it. Now the man Moses was very meek above all the men which were upon the face of the earth. Uh, the scripture was Jeremiah 13, Jeremiah 13 and verse 23, so it is correct. Uh, uh, I'm waiting for y'all answer. So we got some things we got to look at. Jethro, he did sacrifices, which is mind-blowing in itself because if he was a heathen, then how would he be able to do sacrifices unto the Lord and it be accepted? It's the problem. Number two, we see that uh, Moses himself and his children, even his children was named Israelite names, and Jethro came to the mountain of God. Okay. Mm. Uh, number three. We see that when the Israelites ever bethink themselves and start to repent, they will then change their names, all right, and surname themselves by Israel. So we see that for as Jethro, his name changed to Raguel. Hmm. So, then we see the confusion in which <laughs> they thought he married an Ethiopian woman, but he did not. All right, so let's read on. Verse 4, verse 3. Now the man Moses was very meek above all the men which were upon the face of the earth. Hmm. And the Lord spake suddenly unto Moses, and unto Aaron, and unto Miriam, Come out ye three unto the tabernacle of the congregation. And they three came out. Come on. And the Lord came down in the pillar of the cloud, and stood in the door of the tabernacle, and called Aaron and Miriam, and they both came forth. And he said, Hear now my words, if there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him in a vision, and will speak unto him in a dream. My servant Moses is not so, who is faithful in all mine house. With him will I speak mouth to mouth, even apparently, and not in dark speeches. And the similitude of the Lord shall, be, shall he behold. Wherefore then were ye not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? So what he's saying ultimately is that Moses understands that he, he understands the similitude. He understands what's, what's really happening, okay? Um, but our people, even at that time, which is his brother and sister, um, they didn't understand, okay? Watch, read on. Verse 9. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against them, and he departed. So from saying that Moses was in the midst of sin... The Lord got angry, obviously. So he's not a respecter of person. So if the Lord got angry with them, what does that show us? They were saying that. Hello, Muslim Christ. Um, I watched this topic uh, that the elder was um, showing us, it was teaching. This topic to me is one of the best topic I've watched. Uh, I've watched a lot of good topics. But this one is extraordinary. Um, it's mysterious. As you can see the title here, let me show you the title of the series here. Mysterious Events. Uh, to me, that topic is a very interesting topic. Um, a lot of people also have, in my WhatsApp chat group, a lot of people have also been questioning about the Ethiopian woman that um, Moses married. As you can see, if you watch this topic carefully, I'll watch it again. Um, 
it shows you number one thing the other point out is Jethro uh, do sacrifice and you know the law of sacrifices according to Leviticus was only given to is to Israel matter of fact uh, let's go to Leviticus I think one and one something like that yeah Leviticus uh, 1 verse 1 and 2 it says, And the Lord called unto Moses and speak unto him out of the tabernacle of congregation, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them, If any man of you bring an offering unto the Lord, ye shall bring your offering of cattle, even the herd and of the flocks. Verse 3 If, he, if his offering be a burnt sacrifice, of course, the uh, law of sacrifice was only given to Israel. So if the Lord could accept uh, Jethro offerings, as the elder was saying, at the end of the video, I think he said something. I've got to watch it again. But the point I'm just making here is uh, the um, law of sacrifice was only given to Israel. And Moses' father in law, uh, Jethro was Moses' father in law. And you know, and Moses was the one giving the law and the law of marriage also, according to Deuteronomy 7 3, also was supposed to be taken into consideration. But the point I'm trying to make here is um, this scripture right here. Let's go to um, Mark 3 verse 18. Mark 3 verse 18. Um, Mark chapter 3, verse 18, Mark chapter 3, verse 18. And Andrew, and Philip, and Bartholomew, and Matthew, and Thomas, and James, the son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, and Simon the Canaanite. The point here is Simon the Canaanite. So, was Simon the Canaanite? course we know the Canaanites they are not our people but it's a Simon the Canaanite okay let's now use another precept here Simon the Canaanite then Zachariah 1421 Zachariah chapter 14 verse 21 14 and 21 it says yea every port in Jerusalem and in Judah shall be holy holiness unto the Lord of hosts and all they that sacrifice shall come and take of them and see therein in that day there shall be no more the Canaanite in the house of the Lord hey there shall be no more the Canaanite in the house of the Lord but it say here Mark 3 18 he call Mark 3 18 let's go there again Mark chapter 3 verse 18 it says what and andrew and philip and bartholomew and matthew and, and Ta thomas and james the son of alpheus and Thaddeus and simon the canaanite so he named simon the canaanite and in zachariah said there shall be no canaanite in the sight the house of the lord and we know these are the names of the apostles so what is it showing us this is showing us that um, those names, uh, they give you those names based on uh, where you were born. For instance, you brothers live in America. Today you are born there. You see, but does that make you an American? No, that doesn't make you American. Like if I was born in Germany, does that make me a German? No, according to Numbers 18, Numbers 1, 18, you are of the house of your father. So um when they were accusing moses of marrying an ethiopian woman uh, obviously uh, the woman is not an ethiopian he was an israelite right but he was called an ethiopian woman as the elder was elaborating on the scripture we understand that this woman was not an ethiopian she was not because her, her father the father-in-law was uh, called a Nabian, so she was not an ethiopian uh, this topic to me is very interesting. I will recommend uh, everyone to watch this topic again and again. There are so many mysterious things in this topic. Uh, as I said, this is one of the best topics I've watched. There's a lot of 
uh, things going on in this topic a lot of things going on um, uh, I just wanted to make out this point you see sometimes uh, you read uh, in a scripture let me see my Bible where's my scripture you, you read in a Bible let me see um, let me look one scripture here uh, hang on one second Mm. Sometimes you read, uh, uh, let's say Isaiah 9, Isaiah 7 and 9. Let's go to Isaiah 7 and 9. <coughs> Isaiah 7 and 9. It says, What? In the head of Ephraim is Samaria. And the head of Samaria is Remalia. The head of Ephraim is Samaria. But it's good to Matthew 10, 5 and 6. Christ instructed not to go to the Samaritan. Right. And the woman of Samaritan was talking with Christ. So obviously, uh, John 4 and 12, it proved the woman was an Israelite, but of the northern kingdom. But, but Christ commanded not to go to to the Gentiles and to the Samaritan. This was because he came first to the Lordship. He came first to the Southern Kingdom. But because they were so rebellious, so salvation was also open for the Northern Kingdom. Uh, but the point I'm trying to make here is uh, sometimes you read the Canaanite, uh, the hidden, all this, it's depending, it just show you where you were born. Right? You, they were born in those places. But it doesn't mean that that is their nationality. That's just the point I'm trying to make here. See, but the scripture here is very interesting. These um, uh, these two scriptures here, Mark three eighteen and Zechariah fourteen twenty one, is a main example. So somebody who is new in the truth, uh, if a Jehovah Witness um, met you, you he will swallow you up. You see, so I would recommend. Uh, brothers to watch this same topic again watch it again at least two times and take down notes with that being said say shalom